Salutations and fist bumps, folks. Welcome back to the grid. And what if I told you that I could get Black Panther, Storm, the X-Men, including Cyclops, Iron Man, or a, or a council including Iron Man, the Fantastic Four, and Deadpool all in the same story going up against none other than Doctor Doom for, I don't know, all of Wakanda's vibranium? What a wonderful story. And we're going to talk about that in today's video because we're going to break down Doom War. So the story starts with the opening of a re news reporter who gives us an eyewitness report of Storm's sham trial. Storm is then sentenced to death because of the rising of the Distori, which is a insurrection group that is basically raised because of Dr. Doom. We find that out in later issues. Everything hinges on the fact that the Distori think that Storm is a witch. So they then give her the death sentence and put her in prison. Underneath all of this, Doom is actually secretly funding everything. And again, we find that out when we go to the vault that he is trying to open with vibranium behind it. Word then travels to the X-Men via the news. They then get encountered by none other than T'Challa, Storm's husband. T'Challa, no longer the Black Panther, who is now Shuri at this point, then goes in and explains to the X-Men or specifically to Cyclops what is going on, how this all happened. And he explains that the royal family was somehow infiltrated and then poisoned with nanite technology that allowed Dr. Doom to understand everything that they were doing, going, where the, what they were saying, what they were eating, how they were moving inside the palace and how the security system was wired in and out of the entirety of the kingdom. Cyclops then raises a red flag because he is suspicious that all of this has happened, but Sh Shuri and T'Challa are not infected. T'Challa then explains that Shuri and himself, being the Black Panther and having a higher sense of self, Doom probably thought that they would detect that they were infected and then the entire plan would be up in flame. We cut then to Storm, who is trying to escape out of the compound that Dr. Doom has placed her in. Dr. Doom then comes into the room, takes her out of the prison that she was placed in, and brings her to the vault to open that. We cut back to the X-Men and the conversation that T'Challa is having with them and understand that Cyclops, because he is now the leader of the X-Men in this issue or in this story, he can't sanction or directly say that the X-Men can be a part of this fight. But what he doesn't say is that they can't go. So everyone packs up, goes on this fight with T'Challa and Shuri and the Dora Milaje and everybody else going back to Wakanda. In the midst of this, we cut again back to Storm and Doctor Doom and everything that is going on with them, finding out that Doctor Doom is now prepared to kill people specifically so that he can get storm to open the vault and if she doesn't she will find out that people that she loves or and specifically the mother of t'challa will be shot another person or another comrade that is with them decides to not have that happen steps in the way and is unfortunately shot instead storm then assures dr doom that he will die because of this and because she is not going to let this go. The rescue mission for Storm is then waged or put in place. And we now again, full fledged go with the X-Men towards Wakanda with T'Challa and Shuri. When we get to Wakanda with the group, they are met with the Disturi leader who is sitting in the throne room of Wakanda who thinks that he's safe, but Nightcrawler then teleports Shuri to the throne room and she snaps his neck. Pretty much. Shuri then goes on a killing spree after she gets the first taste of whatever she just got from doing that inside of the throne room. After that, Night 
Nightcrawler and Wolverine try to reason with her to tell her, hey, you might want to slow down because you can corrupt yourself. And that is a slippery slope if you decide to do that because you're the leader of this nation. And if you decide you're going to go that route, uh, people might look at you different. Shuri's not really having it. And she's basically saying this is not something that I I'm doing by my own will. I have to do this to take back my country. T'Challa then explains that, hey, Doom probably already knows that we're here. He's probably already monitoring us right, right now as we speak. So in that, a stalemate then ensues where the X-Men and the Dora Milaje, including Shuri, are just standing and, and waiting on the Disturi and the Doom, Doom bots to make their move. Neither side does, and both of them are looking at each other like, what are you doing? A call comes into Anika, the leader, of the Dora Milaje, it is T'Challa who is now telling her to hold them off for just an hour so he can go into Doom's castle and find Storm. She then obliges and tells the Dora Milaje sisters to, hey, here's what we're doing. Here's these big grand rah-rah speech that I'm gonna give you right now. And in that speech, the battle then starts. The Dora Milaje and the Disturi and everyone else go to battle, including the X-Men. T'Challa reaches Doom and finds Storm and his mother held captive. As this is going on, he then gives T'Challa a ultimatum of sorts of either the vibranium or the woman that he loves. In the count of five, he will then kill the woman that he loves if he doesn't give over the key to the vault. The countdown goes to five, T'Challa does not budge. Doom then hands over Storm and goes for the vault. He goes into the vault. We pick up after that with Shuri explaining everything that just happened to a group known as the Fantastic Four. The arms security personnel of the Wakandan army, Zakar, then tells the entire group, hey, here's how we can get to Doom or here's his production line. This is what we need to go after. But this is only given to us or basically saying we can't find doom but we can find the broker the team then heads to milra where the broker then lets out the hounds and another battle then ensues inside of this whole situation we then cut to a scene where doom is or we now get the explanation of how doom went through the the purity lock or the, 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 the why how doom got through the purity lock when his entire soul is tainted with death killing and destruction he then meets the panther god bost and inside of this a conversation then ensues that we find out that he wants to have a doom world of sorts because he can see all the, or he says that he can he's seen into the future and has seen that there's only one way to make peace in the world remind you of anybody boss then agrees that she can only see one way of peace in the world she doesn't really like the way that he's going to do it go about it but she does give him access to the vibranium and says do what you will at this point everybody's on high alert and t'challa then brings in different type of weapons at the same time there's another battle that ensues sue storm then is overwhelmed and at this point we make another shift back to the battleground where again on mill rock there's another battle that is now being ensued my son is now <laughs> in this as, as well He's very invested as well. Anyway, the battle on Milrock continues. Sue Storm is then overwhelmed and the Dora Milaje, including Shuri, then attack the Hounds and, and all of the Doomba. Shuri brings out a different type of suit called the V-Tech or V-Series suits that then allow the tide to turn for our hero. Dekloon then tells Doom, you're losing. Doom tells him, I don't care. Everything that I'm doing right now is for two purposes. I want data and I'm still trying to wage a war. After the battle is done, everybody comes back to home base. Reed Richards then figures out that Doom is in fact using machine learning tech that is 
understanding or trying to figure out what's happening inside of each battle. With this information, Shuri then decides that she wants to strike and it's time to strike right now. So she does. And taking some of the group, including the X-Men with her and the Fantastic Four, they head back into battle with Doom. Doom is caught off guard slightly, but he then goes back into, hey, I'm still winning this war, grabs his helmet and takes aim. Shuri calls the child and tells him that this isn't working again. We need backup. And that's when T'Challa decides that he's going to go to a different container and ask for a different type of skill set. Reed Richards, understanding this containment, looks at T'Challa and says, you're not thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? And T'Challa says, I'm thinking exactly what you think I'm thinking. And at the end, we find out that he is in fact looking for Deadpool. Upon understanding that T'Challa is going to gain access to Deadpool, Reed Richards then calls in Rhodey. And in this same situation, Deadpool goes into Dr. Doom's lair, takes back or grabs or finds out that Dr. Doom actually hasn't been back to Latvia in well over weeks. But he does have a bag full of Doom bot heads that he then shows to the group. They take Deadpool and send him through a portal that transports him into Doom's lair where, where they can figure out that he's actually there. Doom then finds him and snaps his neck. We then find out that Deadpool is not dead and goes into battle with Dr. Doom, including the Midnight Angel. In this same battle, as this battle is going on, Dr. Doom is then brought to his knees because T'Challa grabs all of the vibranium and with a click of a button destroys all of it including dr doom's doom bots and everything in his network as his network is is going on he or before he thought his network was completely impenetrable but with t'challa's understanding of the vibranium and how to get around of it to get around it he used tech or science known as shadow physics to get around Doom's technology. When he does this, Doom then is brought to his knees and Shuri, Storm, and T'Challa then tell him, don't do this again, bro, because we will find you and we will kill you. I would encourage everyone to go read this story. It is one of the best written stories, including a lot of different characters. And I think that this is possibly a arc that we could see inside of the MCU Black Panther. I tried to hit all of the story points inside of the six issue story that we have inside of Doom War, but if I missed anything, please leave that in the side of the comment section below. If you like this video and you want to see more of it, go ahead and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. That would help me a lot to push out this video and others like it. And if I missed anything, please go ahead and drop that down in the comments below. And until next time, blurt out.